Hi there, my name is Min Lacon. I work with the Flying Doctor Service in Cairns, Queensland, Australia. I've had a couple of people request that I um, record a video of a demonstration of my technique of needle cricothyroidotomy in an emergency situation where you need to rescue oxygenate the patient. Say, after you've had a failed intubation, the oxygen sats have decreased to a critical level and you need to provide emergency oxygen. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate is the equipment that I use and uh, do it in real time on a mannequin and just demonstrate how simple and quick it can be. The equipment that we're going to use is... So this is the equipment I'm going to use for our demonstration needle crocothyroidomy. This is a, um, a neck mannequin model uh, with uh, a simulated trachea an inflatable uh, simulated lung and the neck landmarks for crocothyroidotomy. What I'm going to use is a 14 gauge uh, peripheral intravenous catheter, some oxygen shooting and an oxygen cylinder with a uh, gas regulator and flow meter. Okay. We've had a failed intubation. It's a cannot intubate, cannot ventilate situation. The patient's oxygen saturations are down to 70%. I need to provide emergency oxygenation. So I've taken out my catheter, connected it to a syringe. I'm palpating the landmarks. I feel the thyroid. I go down to the inferior border. I feel the cricothyroid space. As I'm inserting, I'm aspirating air. Got air there, push off the catheter. Okay, now I'm going to connect up my oxygen to the flow meter. Turn the flow meter now on 15 litres a minute. And what I do now is I hold that. One second on, three seconds off. Three, one, two, three. And the oxygen sap should hopefully be coming up now within 30 seconds. There should be a response providing around about 200 mils of oxygen per second. Okay. The other thing I can do alternatively is getting a three-way stopcock, such as this. I can push the proximal end onto the oxygen tubing, requires a little bit of force. You can see it's on there now, securely. And now with the other end, I can securely connect that to the catheter hub. That now turn it back on to 10 litres again. And you can see here, without occluding any ports, there's still some oxygen flow into the into the airway. And as I occlude it, I can get more flow. Okay, and provide more volume of oxygen going in there. So that's a little bit better. Okay, it's a bit more secure. But equally. Turn off the oxygen again. You could disconnect all three-way tap. If you didn't have the three-way tap, you could simply hold it onto the catheter hub like that. Okay? So we we'll just demonstrate this position here. I'm holding it just directly onto the catheter hub. And you can see the simulated lung is being inflated. Okay? So it could be as simple as that. And that's just enough to get the oxygen saturations back up and uh, provide you a, a bit of uh, more time to do whatever procedure, which could be a form, well, uh, an open cricothyroidotomy, uh, cutting down along the, ca uh, the cannula or the catheter uh, uh, barrel and finding the trachea that way, or putting a wire down the, the catheter 
and um, do it in a Seldinger technique. Okay, I'm just going to show you the other. That so that's just using a standard peripheral intravenous catheter. The other thing that we carry in our FDS is a dedicated um, transtracheal oxygenation kit called the ENC kit, which uh, comes with a six French um, or 15 gauge uh, transtracheal catheter to go through the crock thyroid or um, between the tracheal rings and a oxygen modulator delivery device here okay and that's connected I'll demonstrate that so in an emergency same landmarks aspirating air Okay, and this connects on to here, that goes on to the oxygen. Put that on. And now we provide the um, flow by including these holes. So it's a little bit not as uh, precise as a three-way tap. You can do it with one hand. It's just not as easy. The catheter though is quite robust. It's very resistant to kinking. And um, has, a, has a much better length than the standard intravenous catheter. Okay, so that's the technique.